Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to fix slow VPN speeds. And this video is going to be kind of talking about from the order of likelihood, what most likely could be causing slow VPN speeds. And we're going to be moving on down the list to help you fix your problem. So guys, the most likely reason you have slow VPN speeds is just simply because you're probably using the wrong VPN. Now, if you're using a free VPN, that's the reason there. Free VPNs have incredibly slow speeds. They can't afford to pay for good servers, and they're really running a tight ship in terms of trying to maximize ad data and maybe even selling your data as well. So the chances you get good speeds are not very likely. In fact, sometimes the difference between a paid VPN and a free VPN can be 10 to 20 times faster speeds with a paid VPN. So if that's your problem, stop using free VPN and check out a tier one paid VPN on the channel. However, if you are using a paid VPN, the problem could be that you might have fallen for some kind of YouTube advertisement and you might have seen some advertisements for a popular VPN service thought it was a good VPN because people told you it was good and then now you're using it, you're finding out you kind of overpaid and you're not getting good speeds. That's because most of the popular advertised VPNs that I see actually don't have as fast of speeds as some of the VPNs I rank higher. So that could also be an issue. Once again, you probably should be using a tier one VPN on the tier list because those VPNs are tested fast. And if those VPNs don't look good to you, choose a VPN that ranks five out of five for speeds on the tier list. We've done extensive testing here on the channel to prove which VPNs are faster than others. We've even done a global speed test with all sorts of different users from the channel around the world, an international global speed test, which was really cool. We found that the results were the tier one VPNs that I've rated the fastest were also the fastest VPNs globally as well. So that's pretty much proven that you should be using one of those VPNs if you want faster speeds than the one that you're using. If you're already using a fast VPN provider from the tier list, um, what you can do is use a different metric to test your speed. Lots of times I see people saying, hey, I'm using this VPN you recommended, but I'm not getting the fastest speeds. And then it turns out they're using a non-reliable method to test their speed. And then once they use a better method, they actually are getting good speed. I wouldn't really recommend um, speed tests like speedtest.net because it does take your data. Look at the privacy policy itself. It's honestly horrible. You can get some decent results with it, however, but I recommend using stuff like LibreSpeed. I'm going to put the links down in the description down below. LibreSpeed is kind of like a open source privacy friendly speed tester. Um, it's a pretty good indication to get some reliable speed tests. You can also use something like fast.com, which is run by Netflix. This is going to give you a good indication of what kind of speeds you can get with streaming Netflix and stuff like that, which is important. I've also found that it's one of the more accurate tests um, for people who have really fast internet connections and um, fast VPN providers. I think I actually get the most accurate test on fast.com. So that's something to check out. Additionally, lastly, and perhaps most accurately, you could do a torrent test. You could download a sample Ubuntu file. Um, just pretty much look up Ubuntu alternate download torrent file, download the file there, load it into your software or a torrent application like Qubit torrent, and then monitor the speeds that you're gonna be able to get downloading that file with your VPN on. And this is one of the most accurate ways to test it. And lots of times people get kind of wishy-washy results and speed tests, but then when they actually download something, they're like, oh wait, this is actually pretty fast. It's not really impacting my speeds that much. So keep that in mind. Another thing you do want to kind of keep in mind is that most VPNs will in fact impact your speed um, to some degree. I would say that usually for a fast VPN, you can kind of expect somewhere around 30% speed decrease with probably the fastest VPNs out there. This is just something you're gonna have to keep in mind and it's the cost of encrypting your internet traffic. But even if you have really fast internet, a 30% speed decrease isn't gonna be really noticeable that much. I think it's worth the cost of security. And it could be the difference between going from like downloading something at 13 megabytes a second to maybe something like 10 megabytes a second. Not a big deal, right? The third thing to keep in mind is that you might need to change protocols. Certain protocols are faster than other ones. If your VPN doesn't support WireGuard, you might want to stop right now and try one that does. My tier one VPNs both support WireGuard. WireGuard is the newest and probably most fast protocol to use as fast connection times. It's really good on mobile, very lightweight and speedy. Um, it's probably the fastest protocol to use right now. In the future, OpenVPN is implementing new changes. OpenVPN 2.5 will also give really good performance. So we're gonna be looking at that on the channel as well. 
But just remember, if you're not getting the best speeds, if you're using something like OpenVPN or some older protocols, you might want to try switching to a VPN that supports WireGuard because it's going to give you faster speeds. The next thing you might want to do is try changing servers. If you've already connected to the server closest to your location, you might try connecting to a different one that's close by as well, or just kind of try switching things up a bit. Um, different VPN providers give you different layers of ability to select servers. Sometimes it's very um, generalized. Sometimes they let you pick specific servers. It kind of depends on the VPN you're using, but try switching servers and that could improve your speed significantly. The fifth thing is to just change your connection method. By this I mean is that you might want to try connecting to Ethernet, which is the fastest for speeds, um, no question about it. Wi-Fi is definitely going to be slower, um, so just keep that in mind. If you really want to get optimal speeds, you probably should be using Ethernet if you're on the PC or some other kind of smart device that could use VPN, like Fire Sticks and stuff like that. Now, if you're using an older phone, this could really impact your speeds as well, or even an older computer, or even just the router itself. If you have an old router that's not very powerful, it's definitely gonna give you slower Wi-Fi and the slower VPN connections as well. If you're using an older phone, you're probably gonna get slower Wi-Fi, and you're probably gonna have slower speeds as well because the phone, as well as like the computer's power, does affect VPN encryption rate and stuff like that. That's why usually if you want the fastest speeds, you're gonna be wanting to use VPN on your computer. Um, other devices that are less powerful are gonna give you less powerful speeds and just the capability to have the internet going through the device is always slower. Like you can't really plug an ethernet cable into your phone and you're never gonna get the speeds you get on your phone that you really can get on your computer. So this kind of technological um, capacity is just something you have to kind of keep in mind. Anyways, guys, I hope some of those tips might help you increase your speeds with your VPN. Um, I think some of the biggest things that people can try is changing their VPN service, make sure you're using WireGuard, try changing servers, and the rest of the stuff I already mentioned. But thanks for checking out this video, guys, and I'll see you again on the next one very soon.